So hello and welcome to another Dax Fridays. My name is Ruth Pozzolo from Curval.com and in today's video we're going to talk about how filters move between tables so you have a better understanding of that and we're going to also explain is filter again and is cross filter. We haven't covered that yet. We will explain the difference between both and we will also see how those two measures how, or functions, tax functions, help us understand how filters move between tables. Packed video. And this is actually an explanation that I took from uh, Marco and Alberto, you know, SQLBI guys, because they explain it wonderfully. It is from their DAX, uh, uh, DAX book, you know, the definite guide to DAX. So um, thank you for that. I will use the explanation because again, it is done very, very, very well and it allows to to, to understand filters, to understand this filter and this cross filter. So with that said, how about we get started on the video? So hello there. Do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that. How about we get started with today's video? Okay, so how about we get started? We are going to use the North Wind dataset, okay? And for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, the North Wind dataset is a dataset that you can actually download online. There are details down below. And we're going to use two tables for this. We're going to use the category tables and the product table. And they are joined by the category ID on a one-to-many relationship that is single directional, okay? And you see that single directionality here, cross filter direction single is important for later. So if we go back, what we have here is from the product table, we have the product name, and then from the category table, we have the category name as a filter. So this is a table, this is a filter. And now we're going to start with is filtered. So we want to know, is the product name being filtered? We go, I have four measures. I have a measure for is filter product, a measure for is filter, is cross filter product, one for a category is filter, one for a category is cross filter, okay? Just so you know. And um, if we go and put the is filter product measure into the table, you're going to see that it says true. And it says true because it has a direct filter on it. And the direct filter is basically that we put product name on a table and it's given us the unique values of that. So it's going row by row and give us the unique values. So it's being filtered directly. <coughs> now we have the category name here. The question is, is category name being filtered too? Let's go and check it out. You can pause the video and try to think what you think it is. Um, but if I put it there, it says false. And the reason why is because we haven't selected anything on the category slicer, right? So it makes sense that it's not filtered at all. But if I click on here, it will say true. You can see now that I have a direct filter on the category name when I click on confections or seafood or produce. So then it, it gets directly filtered. So that works beautifully. Okay. So now is cross filter. Let's put is cross filtered for product and is cross filter for a category. And look what happens here. It says cross filter for products is true, while cross filter for categories is false. Is cross filter, it means that this is being filtered by something else that is not being directly applied to the column. So is being a filter has been moved from one table to another and is getting filtered by that. So indirect filtered instead of direct filtered, if that makes sense. So why is the product table being cross filtered? Well, what is the product name being cross filtered? Why the category is not? And for that, we have to go and look at the model. Let's go back. If we go to our model, we see there that we have um, 
our category is on product stable. And you see that, as we said before, is a one too many relationships. So the filters go from the one to the many. And you see that by, you know, the arrow that it goes like that down. So filters are being sent from the category to the products. And that's why the product name is being crossed filter is being indirect filtered by the category table. Now, what happens the other way around? Why is not the category table being filtered? Look at this. If we go this way, you see that the error does not allow us to for the product to be able to filter the category table. We need to have the bidirectional relationships, the arrow that goes both ways. We don't have it here, we just have it one way, and that's why the product is not able to access the category table and cross-filter it. So that is the difference. If we change these to bidirectional, you will see that it actually works. Let me show you. I think this is a wonderful way to actually understand relationships and cross-filters. Um, if we go in there, uh, let me change that we go there and we pick both okay so now we have bi-directional you can see the arrows that are pointing like up and down so it means that you're free to cross filter whatever direction you want and we go back look at that category now is cross filter as well as product so that basically means that the category table is filtering the product table and the product table is filtering the category table. And you might wonder, okay, why don't I set bi-directionals everywhere? And the fact is that when Power BI was launched and for like, I don't know, two years at least, all the relationships were bi-directional. So creating simple model was a breeze because everything filtered everything. And DAX was like, no brainer, you didn't need any DAX. Obviously you did, but less. The problem with bidirectional relationships is it can give you a lot of trouble. And if you have large models, I tell you that it gets slow because everything is faltering everything, every time. So every time you do a measure, it falters everything. And obviously that's not, uh, that's, that's not a good practice. So you should, enable bi-directional relationships where needed only, okay? But hopefully this gives you an understanding both what, what is filter is, what is cross-filter, understand relationships, the difference between is filter and is cross-filter, and it gives you a better understanding of models and modeling, okay? So with that said, I hope you have a great weekend and uh, I'll see you again on Monday, I think. We'll see. So, take care. Bye.